Hello, my name is Sean, and I'll be doing a tutorial on signals. This is a particularly difficult one for expert diffuser type deals, but nonetheless. So let's grab an easy one first. So for this one, we have a channel A and a channel B that can be toggled via this. When you're on here and you play around with this, it does nothing. However, if you're on here and you start toggling this, it starts doing stuff. Channel A is going to be your input signal, and channel B is going to be your signal generator. The whole object is to translate channel A so you can get a signal for channel B, in which you'll find channel A via this table, which will translate to channel B over here, on, depending on how many strikes you get. And finally, after that, submitting the answer. So, to start off with, there's a couple things you're going to know. So first for channel A, we're going to compare all the figures here to channel A. In this case, figure 1 occurs to channel A the best. So we're going to find figure 1 on this table, which is going to be right here. And then the required gener generator signal coefficient C1, C2, C3 in that specific order, and we get negative 1, 1, negative 1. So usually I like the expert to tell me what the coefficients are needed. So I need negative one, one, negative one. And I'll keep that in my head. Okay, I need negative one, one, negative one. Now let's switch to channel B. Now the first thing I can tell you first is try and get down to this line. Because at this line, everything is at zero. And then start toggling them one by one. So when this is in the middle position, I see one hill. Now one hill is equivalent to C1. C2 will give you two hills, and C3 will give you three hills, respectively. So in this case, I only count one hill, so this has to be C1. So C1, I need to get this one, let's see, C1, I need that to be at negative one. So in order for it to be negative one, and to check that first so this is one and how do I know that well because this is going up if it goes up first this is one if it goes down first this is negative one and of course if it's a line it's zero so I needed this to be in the up position so keep them um, friendly reminder okay I need to go up and if I toggle this let's see I count one two three hills so this is telling me, okay, this is C3. And right now at this state, it's going down first, so this has to be negative one, and this would have to be one. So I, since I need this to be negative one, I need this in the middle position. So I need this in the up position, need this in the middle position. And finally, this has to be C2, as you count the two hills here. In the middle position, it is one, and then the up position is negative one. Well, I need a one for that, so this has to be in the middle position. This has to be in the middle position, and finally, this has to be in the up position. Because as you remember it, up position here is C1 is equal to negative one. Middle position here is C3 equal to negative one. And finally, here is C2, and this is equal to one. And then once you've toggled your switches correctly, we can press the submit button and you get a little green light. All right. Now, how are we supposed to tell our expert what image we're seeing? Well, if this was the image I was looking at first, I can tell immediately, okay, I need zero, one, zero. Why? Because I know both C1 and C2 are zero. Because if you look at this image close enough, we know that this is the image that we get if everything else is zero, but C2 is one, because C2 in this case is equal to one because it's going up first, and we counted two hills. So, I know for a fact, I could tell my expert with a 100% with that I need C1, I mean, <laughs> excuse me, zero, one, zero is what I'm looking at. And my expert will find, okay, let's find zero, one, zero, which is right here. And the amount required strikes is zero. So we need one, one, negative one. And he'll tell me, okay, one, one, negative one. So I get one, one, negative one. 
Then I'll channel back to channel B, get my zeros. There we go. So I need one, one, negative one. This is two, and we need it in the down position because it's one there. This is three, and we need it in that position. So we need, let's see, give me a second. So we need down, middle, and for this one, middle. So let me double check that. This is has to be down, right? Be down, middle, middle. We press submit, and that's another solved module. Okay, so that was a simple one. But what if you get something like this? Well, usually on things like this, I would tell just about approximate numbers of each where the lines are crossing as such. So for example, I have three hills. And they are crossing at the highest peaks is we get a 2.5, a 1.8, uh, excuse me, a 0 0.8 and a 0 0.2. So my expert will find, okay. And it goes, and I'll also tell them it goes up first. So it goes up first. I'm looking for a 2.5, a 0 0.8 and a 0 0.2. So it starts looking, okay, it goes up. Nope, that first one does not go to two. And this could be the case. So here's one that goes to two. Here's a zero point, and here's another one. But it goes down first, so it can't be that one. This one goes up first, but it only has two hills. This one has three hills. Let me check here. I got 2.5. This crosses approximately around 1.0.8, and this looks like 0 0.2. It looks like just approximates. So from that, I'm like, okay, I, I think I see the thing, which would be figure 14. In which case, I think it would be figure 14. Then he would check on his module. Okay, find figure 14. Here it is, and your stats is 0, negative 1, 1. So 0, negative 1, 1. Then I would switch to channel B and figure out my zeros here. Here, no, go back here there we go so we need zero negative one one so let's find everything here so that was my three three has to be at a one so that's going to be middle this is one this has to be at zero so this will be kept down so middle down this has to be two and negative one is it so it has to be middle down middle press submit and that's a solved module hope all of you enjoyed this tutorial until next time guys keep talking and don't explode